Welcome, welcome everyone to Sister Shake Arise, where we are promoting a better way through the power of the Spirit. Lady Testimony here again with a quick reminder and a message of hope to tell somebody that you can be victorious in spite of whatever situation you find yourself in. I want you to understand this, that the devil come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus came and died and so that you can have life and have it more abundantly. Abundant life is available to each and every one of us that believe. And I want you to know this just the same way Jesus had to suffer. Amen. And he went on the cross. And I thought that the enemy may have thought that on the cross, I've got him now. I am the one that is walking in victory because here it is that I kill Jesus. But I want you to understand that purpose in whatever shape, size, or form cannot die. And the good thing about Good Friday was that they did not kill him. He gave up the ghost. And when he gave up the ghost, he went down into the grave and he spent three days in the grave. On a resurrection Sunday morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Victory Sunday, he arose from the grave. The good thing about this part of the story is that the Bible did not account that anybody had rolled away the stone because they had put a big stone in front of the, the tomb so that nothing could go in or comes out. But I want you to understand that the trick of the enemy, it doesn't matter what the enemy does or do, it cannot prevent God from moving in his timing. And so Resurrection Sunday was the time appointed by God for Jesus to arose from the grave. And so that Sunday morning, he rose up victoriously. He tied in the room where he was borrowing and he came out. Nobody knows how the stone was moved, but I believe that God in his supernatural power caused the stone to be rolled away so that he could get out because he got work to do. And the same way how he got out, I want you to know this, that you can get out of that situation. You can get out of it. You may be down in a place where you feel like you're down in the dungeon, down in the valley. You're at the lowest point and there is no more for you to rise up. But I'm talking to you. Yes, you, you will arise. You can arise. All you got to do is to call upon the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And anywhere the name of the Lord is called upon, he shows up. And where Jesus shows up, it's victory. Praise the name of the Lord God. Hallelujah. Jesus spent three days in the grave, appointed. And on the third day, he arose. He arose victoriously and triumphantly. Not only did he arose victorious for himself, but he arose victorious for all of us. So we can have victory. The grave couldn't hold him down. You understand that just like how the grave couldn't hold him down, nothing can hold you down. Nothing can cause you to be stuck in a place and can't get up. Nothing can cause you to be stuck in a place and can't get up or can't arise out of that situation. God is more than able. And God is more than capable to handle your situation. What you're going through is not unique. You're not the first person and you won't be the last person. God is just training you. So that when you get out, you can go tell somebody else. I was in a situation and I thought I was locked in that situation for a good while. But then one day, that was my appointed day of deliverance. And God came and delivered me out of that thing. 
Now, when God deliver you out of anything, do not go back into the bondage that he brought you out of. He never delivered you for you to go back and serve the devil. He delivered you so that you can be a blessing to yourself and to others in the kingdom. Because I want you to know this. That there is power in you. Because the same man that ever holds power that raised Jesus from the dead dwells within you. And so you may look at yourself like you're a weakling, but can I have you stand in front of the mirror and tell the man in the mirror that I got power. The power to change is in me. The power to arise is in me. And I'm going to rise up victoriously out of this thing so that I can share my testimony and tell somebody how I get over this situation. Come on, somebody. This thing was not made to define you. This thing was not made to hold you hostage for the rest of your life. There is a deliverer up above. There is a God that loves us with an everlasting love. That is looking down at us every day and saying to you, my daughter, all I require from you is to just believe, have faith and to trust me with all of your heart. Come on, man. You must arise. How about you setting the time of Monday the Mahosaya and said, I'm going to push. I'm going to push. I'm gonna push I'm gonna push because my victory is ahead but I'm required to push to the finish line I have to push I can't just sit back and relax and accept the defeat that the devil serve you. Push away the plane of defeat from in front of you. Don't drink that sad syrup no more. Do not believe the lies that he feeds you. That you can't do it. And so every day, oh I can't do it. I don't make no sense. I try because I know that I'm just going to fail. That's the enemy that is speaking. Shut him up. And tell him, not my ears. I want you to believe this. And I want you to get very, very excited. That I am victorious. I am going to make it. I can do all things. Because I've got the strength of God upholding me. Hallelujah. And by his divine intervention. Oh, by God's divine intervention, you are going to come out of this. And if you ever feel like you're not going to make it, and if you ever feel like this thing is going to hold you hostage, I want you to check get radical one day and just say, I am getting up today. Sometime it comes to a place where you got to make a decision. There is a story in the Bible where the leopard has to make a decision. They said, if we go in the city, we might die. If we stay here, we might die. So we got to do something. We got to act. And they act. Now it's your turn to act. This is a season of victory. This is a season for any person that wants to arise, to arise. My sister. No grave. No man-made grave. Because you know the devil is bright enough to believe that he can hold you in any grave. That he can set you back. Even if you experience a setback, it's not the devil's victory. It's a part of the plan of God. And so I just want you to be encouraged. And I want you to get up. Oh, Ramosuke. Get up. Get up out of your comfort zone. 
get up out of your comfort zone and shake. My neighbor who say a shake. Lando, get up and shake. Get up and shake. Today, Yandara no no ho say. Tonight, tonight, tonight. It's your nando rebo second yourself of deliverance. Tonight is your night of deliverance. It is now Saturday morning. And wherever you are, when you get to see this video, and you wake up Saturday morning, and you see some things just begin to turn around supernaturally, Send me a message so I know that this message reached you and you get the message that tonight is your night of deliverance. Hallelujah. You are in God's hands because you're in the hands of God. God bless you, my God. God bless you, my neighbor Hosea. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm talking to you. You curled up in a fetal position. Oh, God Almighty. You're going to know I'm talking to you. And you wear the red t-shirt to bed. But God is saying to you that today is your day of victory. Today is a day of deliverance. I pray that this video will catch you. And you will get to know that you won't be crying Monday the normal Hosanna. Sunday morning. Because your victory, you're going to see the start of your victory from Saturday afternoon. Be encouraged. God got you. God is watching over you. And God Lebo Sheke is having people interceding on your behalf. You just don't know it yet. But God is your keeper. And he's your healer. And now you can act to it that he's your deliverer. God bless you. Share the message of hope to tell somebody and let everybody know that Jesus loves you. Loves you enough to sacrifice his life for you. God bless you. Share this message. Tell somebody to subscribe to the channel. God bless you. Until next time. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the Easter season. We are celebrating his death and his resurrection. There is no thing more powerful than Jesus raising from the dead so that you and I can have life. Now that he gives you life, sacrifice back your life for him. God bless you.